or, or jerks or whatever you can call it. I hope my mother doesn't hear this. Don't mention any other name of a band, artist, or anything in the same breath as you talk about the sugar cubes. The sugar cubes are the sugar cubes. That girl on that bicycle, so straight in the dress, in all the motor crashes in the neighborhood. Sugar cubes, wonderful people. Chuckle, chuckle, chuckle. When the Sugar Cubes first adorned the cover of the new Musical Express, it looked like they might be just another flavor of the month for the fickle British music press. But when people outside their native Iceland heard the Sugar Cubes succulent staccato mosaics of rhythm and melody, topped off with Bjork's bizarre urban yodeling, it was clear that these guys were no mere novelty act from an exotic isle. In fact, the Sugar Cubes debut album, Life's Too Good, was one of 88's biggest breakthroughs. And now they've followed up with a new LP, here today, tomorrow, next week. Bjork told us about the title. People were always asking us to explain what life's too good meant. And the only thing we could say was it was an optimistic complaint. And here today, tomorrow, next week is also an optimistic complaint. It has a lot to do with the last two years or so. We've been traveling really, really fast, seeing, you know, half of the world. And we, what, the, what we've been seeing is basically just the biggest cities in the universe. We haven't seen countryside or stuff because they don't have stadiums there yet and stuff. So here today, here today, tomorrow next week means that the world is, is just unresistible and it's going incredibly fast and we just love it and it's an optimistic complaint. Oh, uh, thanks to Bjork for clearing that up for us. The Sugar Cubes had no complaints, optimistic or otherwise, when they were asked to tour with New Order and Public Image Limited this past summer. Right now they're on a 10-week tour of Europe, and they'll be back for a headlining US outing in February. Must we be diabetic till then? Why no, we have videos. The first one is a song called Regina, and like their other clips, this one was directed by Oscar Jonasson, who's now a semi-Sugar Cube himself. When we do work videos, he has as much freedom as any member of the band to do his job. Yeah. And it's also a very scary thing when you do a video and Oscar starts working on it and then he brings the script along. And so you <laughs> read it through and say, is this about me? Where, where is my part? Where is my part? And then you get to know that you have to be in a parachute or in a yucky, yucky. Yeah, or be closed inside an airplane suit for six hours hanging in the air. It's very comfortable.